So what's the real risk, Michael? Is it is it half the shot? Because, you know, is it really six months? Is it three? I mean, what's the do you have a do you have an internal, you know, sort of an unofficial litmus test of I'll know by. Yeah, I definitely know that. And you and I know. So the thing we love about this industry is the diverse talent. So many different people who do different things. That's why people love this industry, because if I'm a guy that likes to sit at my computer and work on CAD drawings, I get to have lunch with someone who was just in Brazil for two weeks. Right. That's cool. I'm not sitting in, a, in a, an accounting pool with 20 different people working on the same spreadsheet. Not that that's bad, but it's a very rich environment. So when you say that, there is no way to say if it's six months, it's two months, it's whatever. It actually is human beings in our industry. It's a situational thing. But what I would say for me, my risk tolerance is I need depth of bench. I'm a conservative business owner. I need farther to fall. So if Khalil is on my team and he's a super, super high achiever, I love that guy. I wish he could do twice as much. I wish there were two of them. So my risk tolerance is very, very high if he decides to go do something else, right? But if I have him on my team and then I have four other people who in some way, shape or form could stack up to about 70% of Khalil, you know, 70 or 80% on their best day. If Khalil leaves me, I'll be okay. Right? Because if I, if I believe in a tribal approach and a discussion approach to all challenges, I can get enough smart people in the room. Is it less efficient? Yes. But is the risk tolerance for me as an owner, is the risk tolerance with my customers, it's been effectively lowered. So to that question, is it six months? I actually think it is depth of bench for the plan and the approach that you're taking to market. And this is where we're all in trouble because if your entire identity is, you need to triple the size of your business to make money, really tough place to be in if there's no human capital. However, if you're gonna do less better and you have an upmarket offering, you have a very clear value proposition and, and this is you, Chris, right now. This is exactly where you are. If you're an upmarket offering in the space that you play, you get to actually choose at what level of efficiency do I need to be and be still be true to myself and genuine to my brand and occur that way for my customers. And then that's what each of us needs to be striving for. So, my, you know, up here, we know some big players in it. They might need eight project managers right now in order to succeed. That's tough in this market. I'll take another one. I'd take two. I'd take three, but I need another one. You know what I mean? In my company. So I can be a little more patient. And by the way, if we're talking about what the what the cost for that is in the marketplace, don't I have a little more latitude than if I had to do that with five or eight people? Suddenly, $15,000 with eight people is X amount of dollars. If there's a high attrition rate of 30 or 40 percent, I really got to say, wow, my risk is 100, you know, it's 100, 150 grand. And if I'm chasing profitability, that's far out, right? Um, wow, there's a, I'm just thinking of another question that I think we should cover. But anyway, if that's resonating with you guys, that's how I see it. I see it as a small business owner. 